Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Ghost Prime. In this video, I'll take a look at Transformers, the movie retro reissue, Shrapnel. Uh, he is just another one of the reissues that I've done in cartoon colors. He has no chrome. And I'm going to compare him to the original Shrapnel from 1984. And just to see what the color differences are and uh, if this one actually stands up to this one at all. So please uh, sit back, relax, hit that thumbs up button, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe if you're not subscribed, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And without any further ado, let's get to the review. The Transformers will return after these messages. This October 20th through the 22nd, TFCon Orlando at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Orlando at SeaWorld with special guests Bob Budiansky, Victor Caroli, Dan Gilvison, Gary Chalk, Richard Newman, Alex Milne, David Sobloff, and Casey Kohler. Meet mediocre YouTubers, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Diecast Norbs, Engineer Hoist, Fire Talks, Ghost Prime, Kato's Collection, Patriot Prime, Rodimus Primal, and Treebot. If you see them, make sure and say hi. You'll most likely find them at the bar. That's TFCon Orlando in October. Be there! We now return to the Transformers. Before we get into comparisons, we're going to have a quick look at the packaging here. Uh, the packaging does have a nice look at the G1 style alt mode and a very uh, stylized rendition of him right there on the front, just like the rest. And there he is going from the insect to robot mode, Transformers, the movie. And on the back, we do have a little verb about it. And we do see a, another picture of it depicted here. It makes me wonder if all these were meant to have chrome originally, because you see this is chrome in these. All the Everything else is correct. This is silver sold his legs, but these are appear to be chrome. Makes me really wonder if that was an early version. I know this seems, I think this is a Photoshop mock-up, but it just, I don't know. It just seems to me that that's what it originally was supposed to be. Then we do get some tech specs here. Uh, there is no decoder, but this is how they come. This is how they all are. And a little blurb. Function, electronic combat. Control, electricity, and you control the world. And then you go ahead and pause it to read the rest. If I can get it in focus. And we see a picture of him on the side, and this is just a wraparound. Nothing really on the bottom. Opening him up, getting everything out of the package, we have an instruction sheet, as we should. Which, I mean, he's really easy to transform, so it's, you know, it's not very much to it. Pretty clear, big, easy to read. We have a gun. Now, his gun here is not silver, it is purple. And... Yeah, looks pretty good. If you want to compare it real quick to the original. It is a slightly different mold than the original. Um, I'm not sure if the previous reissues, I'm assuming they are, were like this, but it is missing a lot of the detail. Um, I'm going to have to look it up because I have this as an original. So I'm not sure if the previous reissues had it like this. As you can see, there's, there's a ton difference. I mean, little pieces here in the front. This bar here in the middle does not flare it on the end. It doesn't have these two bumps here. And the two little fins on the back are also missing. Uh, these pieces are smaller. And again, we get six of these Energon cubes. Now, even though Bombshell has not been announced, um, I'm pretty sure we're getting them. And we're going to have six more. So I already have... 12 of these, and I think we're just going to have more. <laughs> Probably another six. But we get Shrapnel. Just a quick look at him here, and see sort of some of the paintwork. He has a logo right there, which I didn't even notice. It's barely noticeable in person. You could really use some white around it with both of these. But he's got silver painted legs. He had purple feet. Moving around, he's got the, the wheel there. It's purple. It is a pin. This uh, painted black uh, metal piece. His chest piece is opaque. 
and does open and you can put one of the energon cubes inside there i think it will close on that face again because i love that visor if i get it to focus i love that red visor silver painted pinchers on the back these are white and silver so that's different nothing painted here and nothing there i mean you can Pretty basic, you know, he's an Insecticon, we all know what he looks like. And the gun does friction on like this. And here's how he appeared in the Transformers cartoon. I bring in real quick the Legacy... That wasn't supposed to happen! And real quick we'll bring in the Legacy version, so you get an idea here. Very different colors on him. And finally... There is the Generation 1. So get real close here. And now we've got the camera moved a little closer on these. You can kind of really see how the details are different. Obviously, the visor is not painted on the original. Translucent plastic. The purple shade is completely different. Chrome for the legs, where these are silver. I, I'm glad that they painted these silver, at least. Uh, the bare white plastic wouldn't really work for Insecticons at all. Uh, and then from the side, you see there's some differences show up, like the these wheels are black, or these are purple to match the arms. No rub sign. There is, however, a rub sign indent there, um, but there is no rub sign. And yellow instead of white, silver wheels instead of black. Otherwise, these are the same. Okay, transformation time. So first, go ahead and point his feet down. Now, one thing I do want to mention is his waist is really loose. You need to turn it all the way around and really, really loose there. But turn it all the way around, not as loose. Go ahead and push the legs in. You got to make sure that the feet are straight. So you get the, the end pieces of the thighs going out there, just like the G1. Take the feet. Move those out, and then line the wheels a bit. They don't snap into place or anything. It's going to align them, and close up the pinchers. And there he is in insect mode. So in insect mode, you can see. I mean, geez, you know, shrapnel. We we know what he looks like, and he actually rolls quite excellent, way better than my G one. Again, I don't have the 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 reissue, so let's see if that's like that. But that is great. That's really, really great. I like how he rolls so well. And we'll bring in the original right here. A little leg there. Rolls, but not like this, this one. That's super nice. So you can see there how they look at the different colors. All in all, I do miss the chrome, but I, I think it actually looks pretty good. There, as you can see the Differences, differences from the side and from the back. So there they are. I like this one. I think they did a better job than uh, kickback. Uh, it needs to be seen about bombshell. We'll see what they do with the chest and how they work that whole thing out. Maybe that's why it's not announced yet. Anyway. Uh, let's get on to the final thoughts. So in conclusion, if you already have this, should you get this? This one is actually pretty good. I think it looks a lot better than the previous one. Uh, kickback, so we'll see how Bombshell hasn't even been announced yet looks. Uh, they better complete the trio. Uh, should you get it? I don't know. Um, I'm going to bring in my expert on this one. Aria, come here, please. So which one of these do you like better? I like the purple one better, like the light purple. The light purple? What about the chrome? The chromes, these are shiny. Yeah. Which one do you like better? But I like these. You like this one better? Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. This one is better. So go out. It should be showing up at Walmart pretty soon. If not, you can probably find it online. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye. <laughs>